Okay, here's another trick uh, using um, epoxy, epoxy resin only. Don't try this with polyester resin. You're liable to have a fire or it'll uh, thermal and it'll set up so fast it'll smoke. But when you're using epoxy resin like I do, I only use epoxy because I don't like the unstable characteristic of pos well, polyester resin. <clears throat> I know they use it in boats and under controlled conditions it's very good. But the stuff that I do, I want a controlled uh, cure. And uh, this cures uh, on, a, on a real uh, straight line curve. It doesn't all of a sudden thermal and boom set up and I've had uh, polyester resin set up while I was stirring it so probably had too much catalyst in it but the point of it is when you use uh, resin uh, um, epoxy resin then uh, it has a, a more stable uh, cure time so anyway let's say you uh, go ahead and lay up your plies and everything and it does so you've taken a little bit longer than a half an hour 45 minutes and it starts to get really stiff well, epoxy resin, you can get a, uh, a hair dryer and uh, just apply some heat and, and uh, uh, it will uh, become uh, less viscous then. It'll go back to a, uh, a lesser uh, viscosity and you'll be able to, uh, if you have any bubbles or if you have some silver spots which indicate air, you can take the brush and uh, so just just take your hair dryer and uh, heat it up. Now I haven't really got any uh, problems with this, but uh, uh, I'm just showing you what can be done. If you get into a position where you have some uh, white spots in your glass which indicate air, or uh, if you see some visible bubbles then you can heat it up with a uh, with a hair dryer and you don't you don't have any uh, worry about it catching fire or anything uh, not with epoxy resin so then you do that and uh, heat it up a little bit and then uh, take your brush and then uh, just stipple it and stipple the bubbles out or stipple the light spots spots out I'm uh, using only three plies in this because you can see with all the curves it provides uh, strong channels so there's no reason to go more plies. Now if you're doing a flat surface, I'm using a six ounce glass, if you're using a, a flat surface then you'd probably have to use five, six, seven plies for rigidity in the uh, wall. But as you can see here, all of those uh, turns and S turns and uh, and uh, crevices uh, provide a, uh, a strengthening channel. So I'm only using three plies on this and that's plenty. I'm only making a plug for another mold, a longer mold anyway, so it doesn't really have to be structural so strong. When I get done with this, uh, this hole <laughs> uh, will be uh, either thrown away or saved for uh, another plug, but uh, that's, that's all. I thought I'd just show you that little trick. Okay.